and good morning to all of you uh, my friends today i uh, will explain before you uh, the term called eutrophication and the second is uh, biological oxygen demand so uh, let me tell you that uh, this uh, where we are standing it is the bank of river yamuna as uh, you can see here uh, this is uh, more than uh, 1300 and 76 km long uh, river and you should know that it is uh, one of the most polluted river in india uh, and uh, let me tell you one more thing that uh, uh, in delhi the stretch of this yamuna river is only 2% yet uh, the delhi is responsible uh, for more than 60 to 70% degradation of uh, 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 the river uh, uh, this water of uh, the yamuna river so uh, now uh, let me uh, show you the fields the crops are there uh, basically what happens when the farmers they use the fertilizer okay or they use the organic material in order to uh, have their crop grown what happens once the rain takes place uh, this uh, organic material uh, it comes in the contact of the water and this uh, organic material mixed up Uh, with the water of this river which you are seeing here what uh, is the main thing here that uh, uh, you know the alga which you are seeing green in color uh, the organic material which farmers are using in order to have their crop grown uh, this organic material uh, or the pesticides uh, this is uh, the food uh, material for this alga so obviously when the alga will get uh, you know an abundant amount of uh, uh, food material or the nutrients their growth uh, will happen like anything so as you can see here this is the algal bloom okay this layer the green layer over the uh, water on the water of this river yamuna this is called the algal bloom and it basically happens once uh, the rain water helps the nutrients to flow into the water of this river yamuna so and you have also seen that the fields are located very close to this river yamuna now they once they starts getting the food they grow like anything and they spread on the surface of this water and they become sometimes so thick that they don't you know this algal bloom uh, does not let the sunlight enter into it and when the sunlight uh, is completely unable to penetrate this green surface so the problem starts from here why the problem starts from here because below you know this layer below this layer uh, some small algae and uh, i mean uh, some small algae and uh, you can say uh, uh, creatures small creatures are living and once this layer this algal bloom creates the obstruction uh, for the sunlight the uh, just below this uh, surface the other algae those are uh, located and the other creatures the, the, who, who are living there they are not uh, you know i mean able to uh, get uh, their food why they are not able to get the their food because the alga which is located below this air because it is not getting uh, the sunlight so obviously that cannot perform the photosynthesis and once the photosynthesis is not happening uh, the oxygen cannot be generated and the when the oxygen is not getting generated then obviously how the uh, uh, other creatures they will survive and you should also know that once the photosynthesis is getting stopped the other creatures those are dependent upon the alga uh, how they will get their food so you know there the problem starts happening and once they are not getting the food then they will start dying alga uh, will die because uh, alga is not getting the sunlight and the other creatures those are dependent upon the alga uh, in order to get their food they will start dying because the alga is not uh, uh, you know surviving here because of the absence of the sunlight and because of the absence of the photosynthesis so in this way uh, you have understood by far 
uh, so far that how the problem starts happening once this algal bloom uh, takes place on uh, this uh, uh, surface of uh, uh, the river water and so this is the one thing now uh, the second thing let me tell you that how the biological oxygen demand is related my friends you must know uh, that uh, this biological oxygen demand actually what happens once uh, the uh, alga starts dying or uh, the other creatures they start dying those were dependent upon uh, this alga the bacteria comes in place why bacteria comes in place because bacteria uh, as you know that uh, they starts the process of uh, decomposition once the alga is dies or the creatures uh, small creatures they die the decomposition is required and decomposition is done by the bacteria and the more critical thing here that bacteria cannot perform the decomposition unless they are getting a certain amount of oxygen so the most crucial thing is here that uh, in order to decompose the dead alga or the dead creatures bacteria require a certain amount of oxygen and that certain amount of oxygen in order to decompose the alga or the creatures that in a very simplest manner we can say that is the biological oxygen demand so when the bacteria are not getting a certain level of oxygen now what will happen the uh, they themselves start dying because uh, the food for the bacteria is the dead material and they are not able to get the food because the oxygen is not there they cannot decompose it so you know how what kind of trap is being happening here how they are getting trapped uh, uh, because uh, uh, the sunlight was not able to penetrate this layer so the alga located below this layer they uh, were not uh, able to perform the photos photosynthesis so already there was no oxygen because they were not uh, performing the photosynthesis already there was the deficiency of oxygen now moreover what happens that the bacteria they require the oxygen to uh, uh, in order to decompose the dead alga or the uh, dead uh, creature so problems after problem is happening here you know the problem is getting aggravated the deficiency of ox oxygen is the biggest problem here so everything starts dying whether the fish uh, living below uh, this uh, surface they will start die and uh, uh, other uh, fishes those are dependent on those fish they will start die and in this way what will happen that the whole pond or this section okay as it is river this water is not uh, this is water is stagnant completely so uh, you can relate this situation in the pond so pond it converts in the form of a grave why because everything dies there and this starts the death process starts happening because of this algal bloom this algal bloom uh, stops the penetration of the sunlight that's why the photosynthesis is not happening and the photosynthesis is not happening so problem of uh, oxygen when the oxygen is not there then uh, the creatures uh, they start dying and uh, when the bacteria require in order to decompose uh, uh, the creatures uh, they are not getting the oxygen through bacteria itself they die and that's how what happens that the everything which is located in the pond you can see the whole pond gets converted uh, gets converted in the form of a grave so uh, the pond when converts in the form of a grave uh, that process is called the eutrophication and when the eutrophication happens biological oxygen demand happens in between so this was uh, however these are little bit tricky but uh, i think uh, at least you have got some idea uh, what the eutrophication is and how the biological oxygen demand is related with this eutrophication thank you